Hello and welcome to this video where we will be taking a look at the new step sheet for Minecraft 19W09A. We will also be taking a look at some details and some features that I did not know about in the 19W08 step chart. So let's get started. Welcome to this series where we are taking a look at the new step for Minecraft and taking a look at what they contain. Let's get started. Now I should probably say just before we get started, if you want to skip to the 90W09A snapshot, you could do that using the timeline, skip to the time on the screen right now if you don't want to see the stuff that I missed in the last snapshot. But other than that, we can now get started. The first thing I wanted to say is that horse, the leather horse armor is actually craftable using seven leather, putting them together like so. So I really like that actually, because if you can't find something like that and find any horse armor in that, then you can always just make some leather horse armor. That is pretty cool, though they're not stackable. The next thing is that in the last chat we took a look at the brown mushroom. Now, the way that they can actually spawn is if a regular mushroom is struck by lightning. So if I just get the command ready, summon. Uh, Minecraft, I believe it is lightning bolt. And it spawns it where I'm at. That was a lot of fire. So if I'm just standing here and does that, it gets turned into a brown mushroom. So that is how you can get those. So they still do not have their own spawn egg in here, which is unfortunate. Also, when it, once it is a brown mushroom, it can be turned back to a red mushroom if struck by lightning again. Now I do want a brown one actually, so this poor fella will have to, oh boy, get turned again and hopefully not die. Okay, good. He survived. He's, he's fine, believe me. Now another, another interesting thing about these brown mushrooms, let's just heal him real quick. Mm, yep, there we go. That should be plenty. Um, they can be fed flowers to then be milked for suspicious do so if we just get some I don't know I don't remember all these there we go puppies that should work okay and I guess I will then take a bowl and right click it maybe it needs multiple hmm I'm gonna be surprised if it's with a bucket yeah I thought so all right, so it turns out you actually have to be in survival mode in order to do that. So here we go. I have some suspicious stew. It does not look like something I want to eat, but there is a thing to note, and that is you can only do it once after you have fed it with a flower. Um, I don't know if you have to, if it's always going to be just one flower or if it will take multiple sometimes. But as you can see, it will only give it the first time, the other time it's just regular mushroom stew. So if I feed it another flower and boom. I have no idea. I think I covered this suspicious stew way back when the snapshot started coming out. So yeah, I'm, I'm not... Okay, listen, I'm not eating this. It doesn't look good. I'm not gonna eat it. No way, no how, Cal. Also, in the last snapshot, we had a bunch of block texture updates, and I didn't know which one had gotten those texture updates, but I do now. So, block of emerald, diamond ore, diorite, grass block, snowy grass block, puzzle, mycelium, and oak door has gotten some changed textures. textures. Fires can now be extinct or exti extinguished using splash water bottles which I really love. We also had some item up texture updates, which are the gold armor, horse armor, cake, emerald, phantom membrane, and snowball. Now this one is a bit interesting. Uh, mobs can now sleep in beds using commands. And then we have a bunch of other changes, which I'm going to say really quickly here. Um, foxes, fox bark sounds are now named screeches. Iron golems has gotten some updated textures. Mushrooms added three new sounds for converting, eating, and milking. Mushrooms now have a type data field. Skeleton horses and zombie horses has updated textures. We also have updates to animal and villager spawn structures, 
which I don't think is structures like those behind me. We also now have each individual status effect icon texture found in a separate texture file. And also Bad Omen Lock and Bad Lock have had their icons updated. Then we have something I'm not, I don't really understand, but hopefully maybe some of you will. Uh, the loading screen added in the previous snapshot referring to 19W07A now displays when changing the game's language and changing or reloading resource packs. Uh, I don't know what they're talking about here, but well, I guess it's a change. Uh, again, I'm not sure what they're talking about. It, it doesn't say anything else. Also, it says doing these things no longer frees, frees the client, so that makes me even more confused. But that is pretty much everything from the 19W08 uh, a snapshot. Now we did have an extra snapshot release actually, which is the 19W08B, but it was only seven issues fixed. We have three issues fixed from the released versions before 1.14, two from the 1.14 development versions, and from the previous development version, two issues fixed. But that is pretty much it. Now we can finally go on to the 19W09A snapshot which is gonna be exciting. All right, so the first new thing that we have in this update are new note block sounds, which is really exciting. We have five new note block sounds that have been added. Um, and I don't know why they don't count six because I count six, but anyways, we'll get to that. They added iron xylophone, cowbell, didgeridoo, hopefully I'm saying that right, bit and banjo. The new sounds can be heard by using the following blocks, iron block, soul sand, pumpkin, emerald, block, hay bale, and I'll get to this guy in a moment. Now it says one existing, existing but unused sound effect has now been made available, which is the plane. And it can be made using the glowstone. Now I don't know why they say unused, because it is indeed used. So let me just place a note block on all of these and we can listen and I'll boost all this this all the way up. Hopefully it's going to be loud enough. So this is the iron xylophone. That is some pretty cool sounds. And I can't actually wait to hear when people start ma making music with all of these. That's actually that's actually gonna be pretty cool. But now, the one with soul sand. That sounds pretty cool as well. Now for the pumpkin. Oh boy. Wow, okay, that was special. Now the emerald. Really cool. Now the hay bale. Ooh. Cool. And now the glowstone one, which uh, is quote unquote unused. I, I don't know how unused this is. Let's hear it. And no, that is, if you are thinking, oh, that's that's just the normal note block sound. No, this is the normal note block sound. That's a big difference there. Also, we have a bone thing here. That's actually pretty cool. I've never seen that. But anyways, getting off topic. But yeah, that is the, I say, six 
new sounds that you can listen to using note blocks and creating oh boy that that that's horrible i i don't know music but anyways yeah that's um that's stuff you can you can all play with and i really like this because yeah it gives some it gives something new to have some new sounds in minecraft so can't wait to see when people start making videos of or, mu or music videos using these redstone music players and whatnot people are doing these days but yes that is the five as i say six new note block sounds that have been added let's move on to the next the only thing is that we we don't really have anything next except for this little bit which i don't quite understand it has something to do with particles but it says sprites for particles can now be configured in resource packs and then particles still control how they will be used so i don't know what that means but um yeah it sounds like something obviously something with resource packs so if you know it let me know down in the comments below but that is pretty much it for this snapshot we have 21 issues fixed one from the released versions before 1.14 then we have two from the previous development version and then the rest counted 18 issues fixed from the 1.14 development versions so that pretty much covers it up um yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you learned new stuff if you did be sure to leave a like comment and share it with your friends and if you're new to this channel be sure to subscribe and enable those notifications and be sure to join my discord server as well link down below and be sure to follow me on twitter link down below as well but anyways i hope you enjoyed and i hope to see you wait there we go and I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye.